Hi guys, welcome back to my channel again and today is something very, very special. You're going to see uh, a gift from one of my Funko buddies and me laying it out there a little bit and getting a bit serious, which is unlike me, I know, but we are going to get a bit serious as well. But uh, guys, let's get straight into an unboxing from my Funko buddy, Locus Pops. Let's get right to it. Hi guys, it is Funko Dad Collector here, and yes, that's right, we are going in for a special, special unboxing video. So, uh, Loki, as you know, is one of the Funko buddies. Uh, those of you that follow me on Instagram, there's four of us in total, and we get on like a house on fire. So there's myself, Matt, we've got Sai, who is Funko Deck 7, we've got Rich, who is British Pop Collector, and we've got Darren, who is Loki's Pops. Um, and he, at the minute, is in the process of getting rid of a load of his Funko Pops because he's actually going to move out of the country. Um, so because he's moving out of the country, he's in a position now where he's selling a number of his Funko Pops and stuff. And what he did is he sent me a few as a gift. And the reason he sent them as a gift, it's my birthday. Yes, that's right. My birthday is on May the 28th. Uh, I will be 21 again. Can you believe it? I know, I look 21. Um, and it was just incredible. The, the, I, I won't share with you the letter that he sent me and stuff because that's something personal that he sent to me. Um, but lovely letter from him. Um, and he sent me some Funko Pops that he thought would go really well in my collection. So we're going to take a look at those Funko Pops. And then once we've done that, I'm going to get a little bit serious with you guys as well. And it's all around mental health because we've recently just had Mental Health Week, Awareness Week. And I just want to share some thoughts with you on that as well. But these Funko Pops are incredible, what Darren has sent me. So first of all, he sent me one of the original uh, Ghostbusters Pops 2014, Dr. Peter Venkman. Dr. Peter Venkman. And you may have seen him unbox it on one of his uh, Funko Pop videos before. And that is just an incredible, incredible Funko Pop. Love the detail on it. Uh, and what I love about it in particular, in fact, I say I love the detail, I love the detail in terms of the pot, but as you can see from the face, it's one of the originals, and because of that, uh, it's a little bit more basic looking in the face and stuff, and I just think it's really adorable, really cute, and it goes brilliantly with the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man that I've got as well, so super happy that he sent me that, which is great. Funny story this, he's then sent me, British Pop Collector, you'll recognise this well, he sent me Cable. So this has gone round, right round the country. This has gone from Wales to Scotland, back to the UK in Nottingham where I am. So Cable, this is one that British Pop Collector was actually giving us some Funko Pops. And I did an Instagram TV exclusive on a Funko Pop that British Pop Collector had given me. Um, so he'd sent me one of these Pops and I was interested in the Cable one. But Darren was more into the Deadpool line and stuff. And had a lot of the Deadpool pops already. So I said, Darren, you can have Cable. Um, I'll have MJ from Spider-Man, uh, which is what I got. And MJ's up on my display. Um, he got sent Cable. Now, because he's moving on, he sent Cable to me. So he's done the whole round trip here. So we've got Cable there. And that is an incredible Funko Pop and goes lovely in my Deadpool range. Then got one that goes really well. As you know, I'm collecting a number of the Funko Pops in the Venomized uh, Funko Pop range. And this one. Cue music. I am Groot. Yeah. Uh, so Venomized Groot is insane. Look at that. Stunning. Absolutely stunning and goes brilliantly in my Venomized Pop range. So really happy with that. And then we've got. Nego Sonic Teenage Warhead, which again goes quite well with my Deadpool pops because as you know, she's in Deadpool, um, but this isn't from the Deadpool movie as such. Um, this is the X-Men pops and yeah, again, incredible, absolutely incredible Funko Pop. Love that, goes really well with the X-Men pops that I've got as well. So Darren, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you. And not only that, a massive thank you for everything you've done for me and the rest of the Funko Buddies, and everything that we've done collectively together so far. We're on a journey, um, we've been doing a lot of stuff for the community, and hopefully you guys can see that we've been doing that as well. And it just shows you how genuine people like Darren are, you know, the face behind the account and stuff. That is pure generosity there, and you know what? 
to got total respect for the guy. Massive, massive thank you to you, mate. Thank you so much for that. We will go in for a closer look at the Funko Pops, guys. And once we've done that, let's get back to the chair to get talking a little bit. So look at the Funkos, guys. So first of all, we have got the Negasonic Teenage Warhead, and she looks amazing in my X-Men range, as you can see there. Uh, getting a good few X-Men pops now, and she looks absolutely incredible. I'll then take you down to, well, there's MJ, by the way, which uh, British Pop Collector gave me that I referred to earlier. But then we have got Venomized Groot. He is incredible and looks amazing in my Venomized kind of Funko section, as we have there. He's super, super cool. Then I will take you next to... If I remember where I put it, we've got Cable. So Cable is down there. Yes, not in the right place at the minute. I've got to find a better home for him right now. But Cable is a super cool Funko Pop. And I've put him next to my Deadpool Pops that we've got there. Um, I've got a feeling that Deadpool collection will grow. And then let's go take a look at the Ghostbusters Pops. So then we've got Peter Venkman. And he looks amazing with the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man there as well. So Dr. Peter Venkman, incredible Funko Pop love the simplicity of him from 2014 like I say incredibly cool Funko Pop so hope you've enjoyed having a closer look at them let's get back to the chair so I hope you enjoyed those Funko Pops uh, I certainly love them as part of my collection I do want to get a little bit serious with you now so in the UK it was Mental Health Awareness Week last week and this is something that a number of us are impacted by and to be blunt People like me, men, uh, men of a certain age as well, and men of certain proud, uh, you know, have certain pride and stuff. We don't talk about mental health. We don't talk about it because it makes us vulnerable. And by being vulnerable, it puts us out there, and we think it makes us weaker. It doesn't. Talking about it makes you strong. It makes you a really strong person because you know what? To be able to talk these things through. That's one of the hardest things that you will ever, ever have to do. But once you are able to talk about it, it just allows people around you to support you and help you. What I genuinely love about the Funko Pop community is I've been able to network with a number of different people across the globe. And I've met some incredible people. And we haven't just talked about Funkos. We've talked about what's going on in our lives. We've talked about stresses. We've talked about you know, the challenges that we've got and stuff. And we're able to support each other. And I've been able to support some incredible people and they've been able to do the same for me as well. And I've got some genuine, true, true friends through this community. Um, the Funko Buddies, Sai, Rich, Darren, you, you're amazing. I love what you've been doing for me. Um, you know, the way that we talk to each other every day, we have a good laugh, we have a good joke, but we can talk and we can support each other as well and we do share things with each other. Paddy, Paddy in America is an incredible guy, as is the bearded collector, Dave. You two are incredible and we talk quite regularly as well and you've been super helpful for me in terms of we've helped each other and we've talked to each other through stuff as well. These, this, these are genuine connections that you can have with people. Me, myself, everything ain't easy. So I'm currently in a position whereby, yes, I am employed and I am in a decent job. I've worked for a company now for 16 years of my life. Yes, I know that means I'm not 21. I get that. But I've worked for them for 16 years of my life. And unfortunately, through restructuring, there isn't a role for me within the organization of which I work anymore. And that hurts. It hurts and it actually makes me feel like a failure. I'm not a failure. I know my worth, but it doesn't stop me from feeling like that. And the reason for that is, is because I've put my heart and soul into something for 16 years and it feels like I can't actually stay within that organization. But it's okay, because what I will be doing is looking at what my other options are in the future. And what I recognize massively is, I love connecting with people. I love networking with people, talking to people, building relationships with people, having bonds with people. And for me, that's massive. That's a huge thing. And for me, that's worth far more than a paycheck at the end of the month. Yes, I need that paycheck at the end of the month. 
to keep me investing in things like Funkos and to keep a roof above my head, my wife's head and my three beautiful children's head. But you know what? Talking to people is the world. Talking is the best form of medicine. It really, really is. So this is a shout out from me, guys, to any of you within the Funko community. If you just want to talk about anything, anything, reach out, talk, rant, whatever it is, I'm here. I'm here and I will listen. I will listen and I will talk because for me, that's a massive thing. Um, so sorry for getting all preaching stuff, but in, you know, in the vein of Mental Health Awareness Week and stuff, I felt it was important for me to share with you some of the challenges that I've got so you can recognise that these feelings, these thoughts, these horrible thoughts that you can have sometimes, that's okay. And I am not suffering with mental health. I'm not. I genuinely am not, but I can feel like that. It's okay to feel like that, but there is people that are suffering with it and won't talk about it. And that's incredibly hard to do. And I've worked with people throughout my life who suffer with it. And, you know, I am there to be able to listen for you. So please reach out if you want to talk. But guys, that's enough of me blabbering on. You don't want to hear about that. Thank you for watching my video as always, guys. Um, what I would like you to do is, obviously, I'd love it if you would like, comment and subscribe as always to my videos. That would be absolutely amazing. Um, but also... Big one for me. If you want to see my videos first and help me on my journey to try and get as many subs as I can in something that I thought was just a hobby and it's now becoming an obsession, please turn on those post notifications. For now, this is Funko Dad Collector signing out as always, guys. And of course, keep on popping. Take it easy. Have a great night.